You think they're overrated or underrated or on point? That's where they at. People, people, you know, what you think? You ready? Okay. I hope I know them all. Okay, I'm ready. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the biggest so you know. I ain't gonna okay. I ain't gonna uh -huh. all right. Uh Michaela Mayer. Underrated, on point, overrated. Baby. She on, on point. point. All right. Sanisa so Strata. On point. Huh? On point. Marlene Esparza. Overrated, like underrated. underrated. She's underrated. She's on point and underrated. I remember Marlene was the first girl that I was like, oh my God, like they met women in Olympics. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, at that yeah. point I wasn't even living in, in Houston. And and I never even got to meet her, like, which is crazy. But yeah, she's she's a, a friend of the show, man. And she comes on there. And I think uh that's uh that's Fresh's uh boxing play wife. And 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 you know, so he got a that's another one. He tries to beat beef with my box and play wife. It ain't going down like that though. See? <laughs> they try to start that shit, man, with the quote. But I ain't gonna let them. They, they try to put me in a high seat every time, Jeffy. Uh Jessica McCaskill. Overrated, underrated, or on point? Oh, controversial, man. What you think? I, Tell me. Uh, I I think that she <sighs> You what what you think? You ain't got a well, it's not I, nothing I personal. She, I think that um she and whoever is like, you know, in her ear is very like controversial. And it, it doesn't like I don't know if that does justice like for women. You know, like I don't know if it does justice for us to try to match the energy of the men and just like, you know, be ugly and negative. I'm not sure. Um and and how, I just pray that I find the right way. But uh, I do think that she has skill. I think that she's on point skill level, for sure. Right, right. But okay. uh, the way that she's handling herself, I'm not a fan. Okay, I follow you. Uh, it, here's one, man, that I'm on the fence about. Let, let me say this, and it's going to sound crazy. I'm going to put my neck out, too. Uh, I believe Katie Taylor's overrated. As great as she is, as great as she is, say that. What you got? Overrated, underrated, I right on point. Overrated. I mean, Katie is a beast. Like if, yeah. if you watch like her coming up in the Olympics, like she dominated everybody. Like Katie yes. is. A beast. Um, I I don't think she's overrated. I think she might be a little underrated. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I think like oh, what? No, no, she, no, no. Go ahead. She is to me. She's on point. Like I think, I think okay. he's like people want to fight like her. They want to box like her. Like we women want to be able to have like a a good comparison to the male. Like we, a lot of us, a lot of like they always say like women we fight harder, which we do. We have a lot more heart, but but sometimes when we yeah. are too emotional, <laughs> we lack the skill. And and I don't see Katie lacking that. I don't see her like getting in her head and forgetting how to box when she gets in the ring. Like some of I us. I agree do. with that. I totally agree with that. She's 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 poised. I, yeah, even when sure. even when it's not going her way, right? She remains yeah. poised and she starts catching a few, Absolutely. and she's got to come back and make an adjustment. I agree with you. I totally mm -hmm. agree with that. But fresh, what, I ain't getting yours, man. What you, Katie Taylor? You familiar with her? Yeah. I think she's on point. Okay. I don't have too okay. much more insight other than she's on point. Okay. Uh, uh, Amanda Serrano. Amanda Serrano. The Puerto Rican. She's on point. She's on point. Okay. Like the Serrano sisters. Yeah, I think she's a little underrated because. Yeah, man, yeah, for sure. I think people don't talk about her enough. If you ask me, and and what I are they was talking one about of the ones. Yeah, I was one of the ones who was doing it without even realizing it, right? I was not giving her her shine that I should have been. And and that fight the other day reminded me, like, shit, I don't be talking about her. No. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of the, it's a, uh, last but not least, what did you feel of Cecilia? Cecilia Breaker. Overrated, um, underrated. And it's all, I mean, I, I, for all the intents and purposes, I think this was the end. She's been, even if she fights a few more times, she's out of her prime, I think. So, uh, 
I guess we're looking at her as a as a as a career hole. What you what you think? You know, I think I think Cecilia doesn't get enough credit. Like mm-hmm. it, I feel like she I mean you'll see, like she'll get in there with anybody. And and maybe, you know, she didn't it didn't go in her favor both times with Jessica. But I think that I think that she is underrated. But I mean, I guess nobody's really gonna give credit if they're not seeing if they're not seeing like a consistent level of wins. But I don't right. think she's out of her prime. Um, I think that I think that you know she just needs to continue to go back to the drawing board and and make adjustments. And Jessica just was a uh, yin to a yang, probably, huh? That 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 probably uh, sometimes we run that, into people where we fight three, four times and and just can't get the win. Like look how many right. times uh, Jenny and Marlene fought, and eventually uh, what happened? The guy, man. That that uh that uh ah man, look at that. I just named I just named four, five, six girls that I think are pop I think people know boxing people know these these names and and it's a plethora of women, man, coming up and constantly coming and I think women's boxing is on fire. I really do. I think